You're watching BBN Tonight on your official UK sports station, LEX 18. Presented by Central Bank, the official bank of UK athletics. Welcome back to BBN Tonight. Let's get back to some football headlines now. Yes, and to do that, we're going to bring in Tom Leach. Tom, always good to talk to the voice of the Wildcats, but I have to admit, I'm kind of bummed we haven't been able to actually see this new offense we keep talking about, other than obviously the pictures and some short little videos UK keeps putting out. But we're not the only ones missing out because of these closed practices. Mark Stoops was asked on Saturday if that was also hindering recruiting. Listen to this. I think that's fair. I mean, you know, there's there's definitely going to be, you know, you know, there, we got to go out there and put it on the field and, and prove it. And that, that's that, that's why we're not sweating it. I mean, we feel like that's going to take care of itself. You know, we we know we like the playmakers we have right now as our offense blossoms. And, and I know it looked really good out there today. I was very excited about it. And we're starting to get that balance that I want. I love how excited everyone <laughs> sounds about this spring practice updates, Tom. I wish we could see it. What have you heard about spring practice so far? Just what everybody said. I um, was out of town for a little while, so I have not been able to get over there and talk to uh, Jeff Pocoro on the radio show today. So he had uh, seen them practice, and uh, he was uh, taken by the uh, level of speed that he saw. So he was encouraged by that. So I'm hopeful to get to see the scrimmage uh, this coming Saturday that will wrap up spring practice. But uh, it all sounds good. And uh, I, I, one thing I've, I heard Coach Stoops say that uh, was noteworthy, he said they're making routine plays look routine, which doesn't sound like a big deal, but just simple things of, you know, if, if you're throwing a little swing pass and it needs to be out in front of the guy to lead him up the field rather than reaching back behind, things like that, that, uh, you know, if they're precise on that. He said he was uh, liked what he saw out of the quarterback. So everything sounds good. You know, Tom, we also heard from Nebraska transfer Wondell Robinson. He says that everyone seems to be picking up Liam Cohen's offense. Here's what the wide receiver said when he was asked to evaluate his own spring performance. I feel really, really good going into the summer. But, I mean, at the end of the day, I just wanted to come in and work and do my job and um, just show everybody that I wasn't here just to play around and do, do things that others might think um, somebody might come in and do just being a transfer and a high transfer and things like that so I just wanted to come in and just wanted them to treat me like all the other guys and I wanted to work like everybody else um, and earn my spot I didn't want anything given so. Now Wondell also says he studied Rams receiver Cooper Cup to prepare for Cohen's offense and uh, Tom as we talked about on the radio I, every time I talk to somebody and bring up his name first thing they do is smile real big I, I think that tells yeah. everything. Wide receivers are supposed to be divas these days, but he sounds pretty humble. Yeah. <laughs> um, I like the fact that he's doing some studying of players that are like himself that played for Coach Cohen. Uh, so uh, I liked uh, hearing that, that he's taking a little initiative to uh, study some of those guys. And on the other side of the ball, Tom, the Kentucky defense will be calling on Carrington Valentine to step up again in 2021. He had his playing time go way up last year after Kelvin Joseph opted out at the end of last season. And now Brad White keeps saying he needs alphas on the okay. edge this season. And Valentine says he's ready to take that on and get his hands a little dirty. Listen to this. Being more vocal, being aggressive when the run comes, you know, be, tearing off blocks, basically getting our hands dirty. So. Most people, the stereotype of corners, the corners don't like to hit, but you know, um, for our DB group, that's what like we, we're trying to hone in on being aggressive and hitting. Valentine also says that starting in the Gator Bowl as a true freshman where he recorded six tackles and forced a fumble helped boost his confidence going forward. Tom, I mean, I would say so. He had a pretty good bowl game, right? He did. Uh, really came on towards the end of last season, not just in the bowl game. Um, the the head, former head coach for the Cats and longtime NFL player Guy Morris, uh, when he was here first as an assistant with Coach Mummy, it was like the first year. And I was sitting in a meeting uh, room with Hal, and Guy came by to, to talk to Hal. And he said, uh, he kind of shook his head at one point. He said, Hal, the problem I have is that I only have five, and they know it, uh, meaning that there wasn't that competition to push guys. And, um, that's not uh, an issue Mark Stoops has to deal with right now. The way they've recruited, uh, they've got the depth to make guys know they have to go out and earn their job every day. There's not many spots that are you're locked in. I, I think Darian Kennard probably feels pretty safe, but uh, there's 
uh, you know, Marquand McCall maybe, but you get Justin Rogers behind him. You got competition at all these spots, cornerback like where Carrington plays, and that's what you want to get better. Uh, Tom, former UK punter Max Duffy has some high praise for his incoming replacement. Duffy says Wilsonberry could, wait for it, outperform him at Kentucky, but Wilsonberry isn't the only one Duffy has praise for. Barry's older brother, Jordan, deserves uh, some credit for this as well. Just talk about those guys as, uh, you know, it's hard to believe that Max Duffy thinks somebody could be better than him. Yeah, Max was an All-American, won the Ray Guy Award, so it's like, you know, this guy's like Randall Cobb, or he's the next Anthony Davis. He's like, okay, I'll, I'll let me wait and see it. But it's nice to hear. I just, uh, you know, uh, you know, guy, guys that are that good at what they do, they don't come around, you know, every day. So uh, we'll we'll see. But it's nice that the uh, optimism is there. Yeah. Loving the pipeline I'm seeing from Australia, at least. You Absolutely. Know, a lot yeah. of guys have been successful. Yeah, Coach plugged in over there. Murray State now got that uh, started, I think. And, uh, probably a little help from Coach Ortmeyer too, the late Coach Ortmeyer. <laughs> Definitely. Tom, thanks so much. Great to catch up with you. We'll talk soon. Sounds good. See you guys. Stay right there. More after this. You're watching BBN Tonight.